Hey folks, it's Marvin Cash, the host of the Articulate Flower, back with another Tip of the Mint Fishing Report with Brian Kuzminski of True North Trout. How you doing, Brian? Mr. Cash, I am rocking it as usual. How are you doing? I'm living the dream. I uh, looked at your weather before I uh, called you, and you must be drinking uh, hot chocolate with marshmallows watching the snow come down. Hi, we just built a fire, and I've got some coffee in front of me, and kids are loving it. They can't wait to start making some snowmen. Our cottage got four to five inches during that Kalkaska snow belt off of Traverse City, so they, they always get hit with more snow, but... It is feeling a lot more like the holidays. Thanksgiving's upon us next week. Can you believe it? It's pretty crazy. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to going back to uh, to Virginia and being with my family. It'll be good. Good hang with our family too. Without all the COVID restrictions, everybody's getting together. It'll be it'll be enjoyable. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, so you're kind of in this really kind of uh, you got your kind of traditional Michigan cold, gray, rain, and snow. Um, so. We kind of have to talk about steelhead and maybe the best time to pull a streamer for a brown trout. I would agree. And this the fall season with the clouds the way they are, they you look up and you see it looks like the underside of, of the steel wool. The skies just look like steelhead clouds. And it's steelhead time. And if you're not hitting some of these rivers that go into Lake Michigan, there's a big debate right now. Everybody wants to limit the harvest to one steelhead. There's plenty of steelhead fish to catch they're in there go have fun catch a few you can do it with a streamer you can do it with a nymph a lot of guys are doing it with egg patterns or small caddis nymphs uh stone flies great way to go use two flies if you can get a little bit of weight get them down this past weekend we floated the manistee and we threw streamers for browns uh, i don't know if we had the right pressure whether we were on the back side of a front or the front end of the front we know that we needed some kind of weather we only moved one fish i'm surprised that we don't have questions people out there ask us some questions which better which is better the cold front or the high pressure the low pressure snowy days windy days i don't know i want to find out these things what do you know yeah well you know are the best place to get scones right <laughs> Scones and coffee and hot chocolate. That's all we need. And best microbrew in Upper Michigan. So, um, but yeah, I don't know. You know, a good founder's porter is always good, right? Absolutely. I totally agree. As long as you've got a good microbrew somewhere nearby, you're you're going to be happy. Yeah, well, there you go. And so, you know, obviously we're starting to slide into tying season. What are you tying up to uh, chase the Browns and the Steelies? Uh, smaller flies, the egg patterns are super easy to knock out basic green caddis patterns. And I've, I'm doing a lot of the double bunnies, the uh, Madonnas with the uh, rabbit fur and the, the cone head just to look, having that two rabbit strip flipping flopping down there. looks like it could be either a minnow escaping or it could be a crayfish. And they're super easy and super fast to whip out on my Norvice. Way to go. Yeah, absolutely. And so when you're, when you, uh, fish your streamers, uh, for steelhead, do you swing them all the time or do you strip them back? Depends on the actual section of the river and the current that I'm fishing. You know, you find different pockets where steelhead will likely hide. Um, but when you're fishing faster water and you can move them up along a, a bank where there's an eddy, I'm trying to strip that and swing it as fast as I can at the end. You always notice that they like to they'll follow it all the way through to the end and you get that tug right at the end of your swing, you know? Yeah, it's funny you say that because, I mean, I, uh, you know, was up with the with the Norvice guys um, up in uh, Erie uh, fishing with Steelhead Alley guys. And, you know, we had a lot of guys literally had Steelhead taken. I mean, you could have hit them on the head with a rock. They They took the fly so close to you. It's, they're, they're funny animals. They're very curious creatures. You know, it's, it's a fun fish to chase. Yeah. And it's interesting too, you, you know, there's so many different stages of the steelhead in the system at the same time, right? You get some rain, you got some super fresh fish, you got some older fish. And so they're, they all kind of have slightly different temperaments. Absolutely. And you're also fishing a fall fish, which is for the most part, a more aggressive fish as opposed to you know, the slower midwinter or even in the spring when the water is colder as it's warming up, they become more active once it hits that 50 degree mark. It's, they're, they're a very interesting biological dynamic fish all the way around. 
Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, it's interesting, too, because we're getting ready to kind of jump off into show season. And you want we want to thank our friends at Norvice for sponsoring the Fishing Report. And, you know, this coming weekend is the International Fly Tying Symposium in Parsippany. And I know Norvice is going to be there. Um, they're going to have some new goodies. Um, like, I know they're going to have some of their new tool trays there. But, you know, we're all excited to have a chance to actually get back together again. I think this is a, a perfect time to get back into the shows and the show season. I have been talking to a lot of different fly shops and dealers. Everybody's excited to get together and it's going to be a, a great big reunion. Uh, we've got an event coming up, coming up December 3rd in Holland, Michigan. We'll be tying with the, uh, Grand Valley fly tires group. And then I've got a show in January and February, March shows are happening and it looks like we're full steam ahead. And, I'm very excited about it myself. Yeah, that's good stuff. And, you know, uh, folks, if you haven't checked out Norvice yet, you know, head over to their website, www.nor-vice.com, and you can see all the great products. They do a great live stream every Sunday night on their Facebook page. And obviously, if you are, you know, anywhere within striking distance of Parsippany, which is pretty close to Newark. So if you're in that part of the world on Saturday and Sunday, uh, the International Fly Tying Symposium will be at the Hilton Parsippany. Uh, and there's only one, so just Google it, uh, and you'll find it. And, um, you know, like Kaz said, we love questions. And, um, you know, the great thing is, you know, you can email it to us. You can send it to us on any of our social media channels. If we use your question, I'll send you some Articulate Fly swag. And then at the end of the season, we'll enter you into a drawing for some True North Trout swag and a $100 gift certificate from the folks at Norvice. And, you know, like I always say, even if the weather's not good, fall is my favorite time to fish. And I think you all owe it to yourself to get out there and catch a few. And we won't talk to you guys again until we're on the other side of the holiday. So I hope all of you have a happy Thanksgiving. So tight lines, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving and tight lines and happy Thanksgiving cause. Thanks, Marvin. You too. Everybody have a great holiday. Be safe.